all the cultured whatever to uh, clean out your gut. Got a cut off cucumber here um, at Symphony House. <laughs> We're just talking, can I be part of your symphony? That's a song somewhere. Um, so s there are people who have a symphony in each quadrant of failure. There are people who can sort of make sure people are where they're supposed to be and they it's their opus. It's like music. We need these people over here. We need these people over here. The, um, it kind of, from what I hear, works like that, which explained how gang stalking was able to occur at such a massively terroristic level, one that could take down small nations, while Sharon was being attacked by armies of people who might not even be totally friends if they were to meet up, like different groups, different armies. Which reminds me, I thought of Sebastian, because they use the word army. I know they mean it in a better sense, Sebastian's army. But say someone in an army, for whatever reason, decides you're an enemy. And that grudge gets carried to the nth, you know, millionth degree. And all those people are followers of the person who governs that army. And it's like, they all go after, like a witch hunt, kind of. It's in that realm. It is like that. And it's like those half these people don't even know each other. So there are people who are technically enemies who participated in the same gang stalking efforts unleashed um, in 2011. And they would actually not be friends normally. Like opposing gang members all participating in the largest, most historic event the United States has ever witnessed. And there are witnesses. And it's so bad that higher level people are, would prefer to stay anonymous or as silent as possible. Because no heaven way do they want to um, get picked up on the radar of whatever that Nazi system. And these people would all be Nazi run. So Buffalo Bills on that shirt, and then you worry about your bills. So if they think you're short on cash, you're afraid to be homeless, you'll bring out Buffalo Bills. All they need is a Buffalo t-shirt and everybody knows it's Buffalo Bills. Even people who don't, so that guy had Buffalo Bills, he's a gang stalker. And we just caught him on camera. Wilma, theater. Bam, bam. And so forth and so on. Let me go over here because so anyway, um, try to get back on track of what I was talking about, but should we go down this way? Let me go one more. We'll do Bach. Uh, so it might be shadier and walking towards or walking away from the sun forces your shadow to show up in a video so we had to learn that the hard way <laughs> some shadows are friendly some aren't it's like ah, i don't want that thing showing up on uh, so anyway thank god it's quieter now but um there you have it a little bit of a sharp toothache upper left towards the front So I'm here walking on Bach. Um, Bach is considered a part of the natural world. There is man-made law, there is natural law. According to some people, I had to learn this. I'm like, oh really? Like the downside of say natural law is that, you know, you come up and come up and takes forever. <laughs> The downside of man-made law is there's always the fear of the wrong people being pulled into the mix and then taking the fall for other people who are really the problem. Nice bike. So, uh, I had a friend who had a motor... I've had a couple friends in the past who've had motorcycles that I've actually gotten rides with or whom I've actually had rides with. Um, when you're on video, it's hard to be perfect grammar-wise. So whenever you're referring to a person, you really want to say who or whom instead of that. Most people say that because most people are talking quickly um, and or they don't know the difference. So <laughs> but, you know, those people who, you know, 
the bike riders who, the motorcycle rider who. So someone from uh, Florida, technically he's in the path of the hurricane should it traject, you know, northeast across the northern half, like Micanopy, Ocala, Gainesville, High Springs, um, Alachua County in general, so forth and so on. I'll do a zigzag down Latimer, which some people call LA Timer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> There used to be a Starbucks there, which would fit into the theme of LA Timer. Um, and welcome to LA Timer Diner. I mean, Latimer. So if, if a group of people or an army of people desperately need to reinforce the idea of a Truman Show or the fact that what's real, what's fake, the problem is it could get so bad, you could scramble people's brains and they, it starts to fuse together. And it's like, all I know, always remember this, if anyone ever does this to you in a bit, you have to pay your bills. So whoever you write your bills to or pay your bills to, they see the world as real. And they, if you don't pay your bills, it's real that you're gonna wind up in a little bit of a jam. But it's, it gets crazy. They can manipulate their brains way up there so that you know, way up there, they can manipulate brains down here, normal people. I say way up there because that's how I see some of these people. I don't feel good here, and I'm trying to figure out why. So, all of a sudden, I didn't feel good. Latimer, LA Timer, takes cash only, I think. Have they started accepting credit cards? Cash only for 15 dollars. Right, $15 cash only, right, 25 SUV vans, all wheel, okay, so cash only. I don't really care that much, you know. Um, sometimes I've wanted to use cash because it's like, I don't need anyone else tracking me. <laughs> I don't know how people find me, uh, but, it, and this is before, I didn't use cameras in the past, so I didn't walk around with cameras. Literally, I folded up my phone for a while in like tin foil. that's how conspiratorial I was, or they was, you know, paranoid but you would a lot of people would have killed themselves or hurt other people it's someone out there there was a helping hand somewhere saying okay we'll just scoot through this these people are total morons they believe this that, and the other keep going keep going you're stronger you're better you're stronger you're better and they had to keep doing that and I had to commit it to my brain what kind of losers would actually participate in this stupid activity the problem with saying that is I worry that people learn it as a form of survival and it's like, well, there are people who I would normally care, who I care about, or normally would think we're nice people, but are they forced to play along because they have no other means of survival or they bought into something? I'm supposed to get her, says my people. Um, that's what I was told to do. So, uh, anyway, we found one of those fucking annoying people who always have this, like, they're arrogant, but they don't have a brain, like their brain cell was intercepted, like, at birth, or at some point in time. So, 